Hey guys, I uh, wanted to come out and do a review on my LCP2. Um, this is uh, chambered in the 22 LR. When I first got this gun, I got it on a Monday. I went to the shooting range on a Tuesday and it was horrible. There was failure to feed, um, ejection issues, it, the rounds wouldn't eject, they would just get stuck. I'll, I'll show you some pictures. Um, it's just overall a horrible experience. Um, so what I did was uh, I got this kit from Galloway Precision that uh, actually replaces the trigger, uh, trigger spring, uh, which is this one right here, the trigger spring. And then I've got the ejection spring, which is a small spring that's here on the bottom. It's just a small, tiny spring that replaces the, the spring that goes in here. Um, also the, um, the trigger itself, which made a huge difference. And I'll talk about that just in a quick second. And then if you look in here, there's also um, another spring right in here, which is the hammer spring. So uh, these are notorious. I guess, I mean, uh, you know, they're notorious for uh, uh, light primer strikes. Um, that first day I round, I, I put maybe about, I don't know, 40 rounds and 30 of them had issues and light primer strikes and whatnot. Uh, you know, I got this gun originally because I liked the way that, you know, you pulled it back and it was super easy to, super easy to rack. Um, and you know what, with the Galloway Precision um, spring kit made night and day difference. Now, it is 100% reliable. Um, I have zero, zero issues with uh, uh, ejecting the rounds. Um, I polished this, by the way. I have zero issues uh, ejecting the rounds. I have zero issues with light primer strikes. And when I say zero, I mean completely zero, no issues at all. Um, the trigger, ch I changed it out because I thought this red one looked cool. And I heard that it was going to be just a, a nice, oh, this is so, empty by the way. Just in case anybody wants to know, it's, it's empty. Um, you know, I, 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 I thought this was cool, but at the end of the day, I mean, it makes a huge difference in in that trigger pull, a nice break on it, nice clean. Uh, I just like the way it looked, you know, o overall on the gun. Um, yeah, so hopefully uh, if anybody's watching this and you're thinking about getting one of these, um, definitely know that you're gonna spend a little bit of extra money in buying this kit. Now, everything that's in this bag doesn't come in this kit. Uh, I think it's like 20 bucks for this, uh, the spring kit and you get the um, ejection spring, the hammer spring, and the um this guy here I forgot what this is called and then this the the trigger i bought a part same thing from you know Gall galloway precision i bought the trigger you know the red trigger i bought from them that was 36 bucks and then also i got in here which is the uh recoil spring this made a big difference as well so this was the factory uh recoil bar I forget what it's called but um and then this recoil spring this blue one, it's it's blue when it's factory. And then the one that's in there is, is, is a different color. But I replaced it with a stainless steel. So the bar doesn't do anything else but look cool because it's stainless steel and it matches the barrel that I, that I polished, uh, which the polishing was easy. I just used some of the uh, Mother's Mag Aluminum polish right here. She had a little buffing wheel and just I went to town on it. And then, um, so... So this guy here, this made a big difference. Um, ha having the slide lock back, um, helping it eject the round. So, I mean, another 50, 60 bucks that you spend, you know, definitely, definitely well worth it, especially if you're looking to upgrade. You know, one thing I did notice, I don't know if anybody else has gone through this, and if you did, if you can comment, uh, let me know. But if you can see that the color on this side of the slide starts to turn like almost like a copper color um and on this side it's 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 black you know blackish gray the top is blackish gray uh and it but only on this side starts to change color not sure why if anybody knows let me know um but other than that i like the safety it's it's really easy to 
set back and forth. I guess when you put your hand on the, you know, you're ready to get a good grip on it, you can just touch it and kind of, you know, full through. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, great gun. So if you guys like this, let me know and uh, I'll do more videos on these. I got a, uh, an, another pistol that I'm looking at as well. Um, I might get the LCP2 in the 380. Uh, I don't know why, but I, I just might get it. All right. Thanks, guys.